So what it means for Auburn that we have been identified as a center of academic excellence for them is that we will put a rigor, if you will, to some of our curriculum. We will get some help and some guidance from not only the national side, but from the state side and also from industry that says, this is the type of skill set we need going forward. So it'll help inform and influence what we are producing so that as our students walk out, they're able to walk out and be a contributor from day one, as opposed to having, as I call it, that, uh, that vertical learning curve. Uh, walking into something. So we, we want to prepare and position our students coming out of Auburn to best assume that role. What this will do for us as we are now doing this Center of Academic Excellence is working with the crown jewel, as I call it, the National Security Agency. We will continue to develop research capabilities in terms of looking at some things in this field that will be a benefit to the nation. But we'll also play in the educational role because if you look forward, Right now, you know, depending on which, you know, piece of paper you believe in which report, uh, you know, we already know that the defense side of the House has said that in the next few years they need anywhere between 3,000 and 5,000 cyber warriors. If you add industry to that, and those numbers are anywhere from 20 to 50,000, depending on which report you read, it's clearly a growth industry in terms of what people can aspire and look to to become involved in. And as I said at the end of the day, it's about protecting not only our nation in terms of some of the things we want to protect, but in our day-to-day -day lives in terms of what we do, in terms of how we protect our own information, how we go about protecting our critical infrastructure in this country, the power grid, the transportation sector, all of those form and are part of what we call the critical infrastructure. That doesn't mean that there aren't other threats out there. As we look across the different uh, places and parts on the globe, but cyber being mentioned number one talks about the concern that we as a nation have of it and the national security implications.